So media literacy uh, provides a framework to access, analyze, evaluate, create messages. That's another interesting thing is they're not just looking at evaluating messages, but they're teaching students how to create their own messages uh, to, to get something across in a meaningful way, okay? And to understand the role of media and to recognize that, that everyone who's doing something in media has an agenda. So the, the purpose is to be literate in all forms of media, being able to ask questions about where is this coming from and, and what's their purpose and who, has, who profits from this and who gains from it, and, and asking questions about the relevance of the information and then knowing how to go deeper. And, and those resources are out there. Uh, we don't have the time to go into great depth of critical thinking um, in this workshop, uh, but the resources are out there to do that, and part of the work I'm doing is to summarize that in, in simple ways uh, that provide uh, a, a, a way to do that. One of the things that we're working on is developing an app that people can use while they're reading an article or listening to a speech or looking at campaign material, and it'll guide you through uh, questions and checklists uh, to discern uh, what's, what's meaningful or potentially misleading. Uh, and what fits with what you need to know. And then it'll automatically generate an email to the source of that, particularly if it's divisive or fear-based information, letting them know that you don't appreciate that. And if a lot of people start using an app like that and the sources are getting continual feedback saying, we don't like divisive information, um, that may lead to some change. But I think the, the process of, of changing the media where we get our news uh, is really needs to be a grassroots effort. Uh, the likelihood of changing from the top down, I think, is, is I don't see a realistic scenario where that's likely to happen. Uh, it has to be people coming up and saying, no, we're going to choose our media in this way. Uh, and, and we're going to choose it based on what's important to us. And they'll have to adapt to the people. Because that's what they're doing now, except they're adapting to what they can sell us rather than to what we really need and want. Okay. And those are the core concepts of media uh, literacy. We've talked about a number of them that, that uh, message are cons constructed and it has its own rules and its own process. And different people will experience it in different ways depending on their background. Um, and there's values and points of view that are, that are presented that we don't think about if we don't stop and ask those questions. Um, and there's a reason. Their profit or power are the two main reasons, okay, that a lot of the media comes out. Uh, but it's good to know that reason. What are they trying to accomplish? What do they gain? And the sixth one was just added. I actually, that's not on your handout because it was part of a, of a uh, webinar that I sent in on yesterday, and this one's been added, um, that they influence our beliefs, values, attitudes, and democratic process. And that's happening all over the world. So it's something that affects us personally and affects all of us collectively in terms of not only how our lives are going to move forward, but how our country is going to move forward and how the rest of the world is going to move forward.